day. Well, moving on now, and most of you have probably never thought about trying to change your sexuality, but some in the Christian faith have. It's known as gay conversion therapy, and in some cases, it can have devastating results. Growing up, I'd um, always been told that, you know, homosexuality is wrong. That if you are, you know, gay or you're lesbian, then you can't be part of the church. Um, you don't get into heaven um, and that it's a sin. Ben Gresham grew up in the Hills District of Sydney, otherwise known as Australia's Bible Belt. On the outside, he was a devout Pentecostal Christian. On the inside, he was hiding a secret. I would pray every night that God would take my attraction to other men away from me. But praying didn't work. At just 16, he turned to a church leader for guidance. I said, I'm gay. And I said, I uh, don't know what to do. And he looked at me and he, he just said, you can change. Um, you don't have to be this way. There is, you know, there is hope for you. The church helped Ben enrol in an online conversion program aimed at turning him straight. But every day I'd also have to answer personal questions like whether or not I looked at porn, if I had had sex. You know, I was 16 at the time, I'd never been kissed, and yet I was still answering these really personal questions. We had no idea, honestly, that Ben was going through the, the XK program. He went to church meetings. We thought they were just church meetings. Mm. Uh, we do feel angry that the church did not notify us. You know, certainly if we had known what was happening, we would have stopped him from doing them. Ben tried three conversion programs in three years. All failed. At 19, he tried to take his own life. Because for me, it was, I couldn't imagine a life without God. I couldn't imagine a life without my faith, without my church, without my family, and, and that's what I thought would happen. It's taken me a long time to forgive myself that I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. But after finding the support group Freedom To Be, Ben has kept his faith and found love in his partner, Sam. I think it would shock and surprise probably many church leaders to, to think that every day that we read the Bible that we still pray and you know you can't change your sexual orientation but you can still choose to live as a Christian you can still choose to, to live a life for God. But Ron Brookman from the Living Waters Ministry doesn't agree. I was only attracted towards men. I got on well with women wonderfully but there was no sense of attraction to them whatsoever. Ron says he transformed himself into a heterosexual. There was no miracle it was a slow and steady walk over three years intensively. To be honest, I'll be aware of you know, a handsome man in the same way now that I'm actually aware of a beautiful woman. Ron's been married to his wife Ruth for 13 years and they have three children. He admits he didn't tell her about his past until two years into their marriage. She was so beautiful I didn't want to lose her no reason for dishonesty but that's why I didn't. Ron's wife stuck by him but it wasn't always easy. That hurt her deeply. She needed to do the Living Waters program and she did and, and received healing and, and our marriage through that received healing and restoration. But despite Ron's claims, most medical professionals say gay conversion therapy simply doesn't work. There is a lot of evidence now to show that gay conversion therapy does not work and it is unethical to conduct it. And after recovering from an experience that nearly cost him his life, Ben says rather than telling others to change, it's the church that needs to rethink its position. The majority of people have been amazing and they've given me hope that the church will one day change and that, you know, gay and lesbian people um, in the church, when they come out, they won't be told that they have to change, but they'll be told that they're loved. And if you or anyone you know is experiencing difficulties, you can contact Lifeline. That's really important, that Lifeline issue. At Beyond Blue, we're doing a lot of campaigns that recognise discrimination against gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered people. That's a big part of depression and anxiety and related disorders, so, yeah. Really? Well, how, does that bear out, how does that bear out statistically? Because you do a large amount of clinical proper research mm -hmm. in this regard. Is it something suffered more heavily by that community? Uh, indeed, three times more likely to have a link to depression than um, your heterosexual community and twice as likely to have anxiety or a, a related disorder. But having said that, most uh, gay and lesbian um, Australians are, you know, 
living well and doing well, but they are more likely to suffer dis depression as a result of some of the messages that you see. Mm. Um, we're going to take a break. Hey, more to come.